Uh, my three years in the military, I became a military policeman. My first year I was stationed at West Point, New York, and I requested Germany after that, and I was sent to Frankfurt, Germany. We took a three-day leave up to uh, Berlin, going through Soviet-controlled East Germany into Berlin. Now, Berlin is divided. The West sector was free. It was controlled by mainly the U.S. or, or the Allies. And, and then the Eastern sector was controlled by the Communists. And this kind of, I suppose I was just a regular, just a regular American boy that kind of took our freedom for granted. But this woke me up because in West Berlin, there was, there was activity, there was rebuilding of the bombed out buildings, there was families, there was laughter, there was, there was noise. But we went, went through this gate here at Checkpoint Charlie with the rules that we were not to take any pictures of any Soviet guards or anything. And the difference is, you can, you can see on this side, uh, there was no, no laughter, no families. All you saw was Soviet guards with machine guns. Some of them were East Germans, some of them were Russians, uh, and communists. And uh, the difference between night and day in it, and it really affected me. It was very depressing on the East side. And so in the miracle of America Museum here at Pulse, Montana, we have a freedom message. And it's a little different than most museums. Uh, in fact, we've had people comment and say, well, well, we've never been in a museum before that's told us anything about freedom. Well, freedom is, is, is very precious, but it's also fragile. And, and it's at times been hard won. I, I mean, men and women have died that we could be free today. I uh, left Berlin, uh, I was there in 63, and I, I soon came home. And in 1991, when the wall came down, I had a, my son's uh, brother-in-law was stationed there, and he got me some chunks of the Berlin Wall. I well, wasn't aware that he was going to do that, but I went out to the mailbox. It happened to be my birthday, just a coincidence. There was a package in there, and in, in that package were these chunks of the Berlin Wall along with a certificate of what they were to, to, to send through the mail. And uh, I, I claim that was the best birthday present I ever got. So uh, these other displays in this section show uh, some of the brutality of, of the communists and the difference between freedom and communism. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Miracle of America Museum.